What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how to identify whether you have fine low density hair strands, how to care for your hair strands if it is fine and low density and also how you can possibly thicken your hair strands. So let's jump right into it. So as mentioned in previous videos of this series where I'm speaking about fine low density hair, the things I'm sharing especially in today's video and also in the previous videos these are things that I am actually doing myself to see how well my hair will progress because I myself have fine low density hair and I want my hair to be thicker fuller and much healthier now I know something like this is going to take a longer period of time before you can really see results. I know we live in a microwave society where we want everything now, instant gratification, I did it today, I want it tomorrow, or at least give me till the end of the month or whatever. No, everything is a process, it takes time. So to give you the results of what my experience is, I'll probably have to, you know, give me about six months to a year to determine whether this is actually doing what it says it's going to do. But from my research, and I believe in the research that I've done, I believe this is definitely going to help with thickening my hair strands. So I'm going to share some of those things with you. So the first thing I'm actually doing is increasing my water intake. And the reason why increasing your water intake is important is because water is very essential for our bodies. Our body is, uh, I think it was 70% water. So if we are 70% of that, and obviously the blood is doing what it's doing, you also need water to help push through the nutrients to your extremities, whether it's your arms, your legs, your heart, your heart your heart is already doing all the pushing <laughs> but pretty much you need to keep your body hydrated and also in doing that you're keeping your hair follicles hydrated so keeping that hydrated and flourishing and plump clearly is going to push all the nutrients to your hair strands as well and also a lot of people underestimate water you know because most people don't realize that water have a lot of micronutrients in it, especially if you know you're drinking spring water. That have so much nutrients that we can benefit from. So drinking water is really essential for helping you to have thicker hair. And not only does it help to push, um, you know, the nutrients that you need within the water as well as within your bloodstream, it also flush out any toxins in your body that is causing, you know, any negative effect on your hair's um, progress. Now, another thing that I am doing to help thicken my hair strands is to consume a lot of protein. Now, um, the way how I am consuming my protein obviously I consume it through you know my foods that I eat but you know people seem to be so concerned about protein deficiency in vegans which is not anything for us to worry about but considering my my the things sorry I want to accomplish for my hair I am also increasing my protein intake by also including protein shakes now the reason why you know, protein shakes are important for helping to thicken the hair strands because remember collagen is also another form of protein. And in these protein shakes, obviously they have their different, uh, the different protein components um, in there that helps to contribute to keratin as well as collagen production etc and our hair strands are made up of protein as i mentioned in the one of the previous videos and knowing that you are increasing your collagen intake which helps the hair strands to expand because you know collagen is what give us the plumpness in our skin and the firmness in our skin etc you know um drinking more protein shake you know basically increasing my protein intake is going to help with that but also what i include in my protein shakes is cmos and cmos is 
Th this is considered um, nature's multivitamin and also it is a rich source of collagen and I'm just like perfect as listen I am trying to plump my hair strands up as much as possible so not only do I have my protein shake I also include sea moss in my protein shake and um, another thing that I also include in my protein shake along with the sea moss is sometimes mixing it as a smoothie so I'll throw in some whatever fruits including bananas into my protein shake and have that as one big thick healthy protein packed meal another thing that i do is drink juiced juice on a daily basis so just like how you know water have a lot of micronutrients just a smaller um, trace minerals that you're supposed to have so which are micronutrients i have juiced juice so basically i am going to the store and i'm buying apples um spinach carrots, beetroot, whatever I choose to put in my juice that particular week, I will buy those and juice them so that I can have phytonutrients, which is simply plant nutrients. So some of the nutrients that are not necessarily in water, which will be found in these fruits and vegetables, I am consuming and also some of these vitamins and minerals which are in the fruit and vegetables contribute to collagen production such as you know vitamin c also zinc copper and all of these different things that help with um, collagen production and um you know i consume them on a daily basis because i am very serious about thickening my hair and also not only just thickening my hair but just keeping my body healthy so that my hair can be healthy okay so i've been talking about thickening my hair strands so what about my hair density how do we increase our hair density is that even possible well from my research it seems that it is actually possible now some say that you can you know um, create new hair follicles and some say that it's not the case but from my research and my personal understanding we're going to just look at it on both ends right so let's say you cannot increase or create sorry new hair follicles well the upside to that is that we already have hair follicles on our head so before we start experiencing hair thinning or whatever the case may be or maybe you don't have enough hair strands or i'm sorry hair follicles but one point your hair used to look thick that would simply mean that you are producing more hair from a single hair follicle and that is absolutely possible so in that instance now you can um, increase the amount of hair that your hair follicle is producing which would then give you a much fuller thicker hair appearance right now in the instance that um, you can um, increase more more hair follicles create new hair follicles it is said that vitamin d yes that you get from the sun and in some foods not many foods have them but mushroom is definitely one i love mushroom so much but you know you can um, increase um the hair follicles on your scalp by you know the synthesis of vitamin d in the body so you want to be out there in the sun absorbing all that sun i mean i have been absorbing all the wonderful sun we have been getting these past few weeks i mean it's kind of cooled down now but i have been enjoying you know the weather the warm weather so they do say that consuming vitamin d whether it's food form or via the sun it can help to increase or create new hair follicle and also it can um would you call it rejuvenate dormant hair follicles so if you um increase hair follicles or you know you 
revive um, dormant hair follicles, then you can also increase the amount of hairs which are produced on your scalp. So these are some things I'm actually doing myself to help thicken my hair strands as well as increase my hair density. And like I also mentioned at the beginning of this video, that this is going to take some time. It's not a thing of, oh, I'm doing this for like two, three months and I'm expecting to see crazy results. This is going to be something that I have to document for months upon months upon months upon months to see how this has impacted my hair's thickness as well as my hair density. Okay guys, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and found it very helpful. And if you did, then please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. So until next time, I will be right back here with another video.